Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Carly Bradley. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll tell you about a fantastic musical performance, trouble at the zoo, and more. Today is Tuesday, May 23rd, and this is the lunch break. The Charlotte County Sheriff's Office is seeking community assistance as they attempt to locate a 27-year-old man believed to be responsible for a number of residential burglaries in the county. Blake Robert Guild may be in the North Port or Northern Charlotte area. He is described as a white male standing approximately six foot tall and weighing approximately 200 pounds. Guild has short brown hair and numerous tattoos on his left arm, including two skulls and one on his chest. Guild has numerous prior arrests in Charlotte County and DeSoto County. He has been charged with burglary of an unoccupied dwelling, possession of a firearm by convicted felon, grand theft of a firearm, armed burglary, and grand theft. Additionally, Guild has a number of drug-related charges. The Charlotte County Sheriff's Office reminds the community that Guild may be armed and should be considered dangerous. Please do not approach him if seen. For more information, visit leeherald.com. A college student has a startling video of a sea lion snatching a girl off a dock and yanking her into the water on Canada's west coast. It happened Saturday in Richmond, a Vancouver suburb. University student Michael Fujiwara tells CBS News that some people started feeding the animal breadcrumbs. In Fujiwara's video, the sea lion pops up towards the girl as bystanders laugh. Then she sits by the pier's edge, and in an instant, the massive mammal shoots up, grabs her dress, and pulls her into the water as people scream. The sea lion disappears as a man plunges into the water and helps the girl out. She doesn't appear injured and walks away with adults. Marine mammal expert Andrew Trites says the sea lion presumably thought the dress was food. To see the shocking video, visit naplesherald.com. Victor McAuliffe, Clifton Murray, and Fraser Walters serenaded a full house at the Seminole Casino Hotel with melodies from their many multi-platinum albums, The Prayer, I Remember You, and Hallelujah, to name a few. Unlike many artists who benefit significantly from the digital processing done in the recording studio, the tenors consistently generate the brilliant and imposing vocals that one hears on the recorded material, a clear indication of their pure and unparalleled talent. Enjoying glasses of wine, speaking earnestly to the audience, the tenors shared personal narratives regarding their families, career challenges, and their adoration for the music that they perform. To read more about this performance and for an exclusive interview, visit leeherald.com. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Carly Bradley. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at naplesherald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.